Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Food with Dottie. Today we're going to be making a blue apron meal, and I haven't made one of those in a while, so I'm really excited because today's recipe is a butternut squash and goat cheese pizza. If you're like me, when fall comes around, you try to find every excuse possible to make squash and pumpkin into a meal. Eventually you run out of ideas. So I've never made a butternut squash pizza before, and I'm really excited to try this recipe out. So let's get started. First, we're gonna preheat the oven to 500 degrees, and then we're gonna get a medium-sized pot of salted water boiling. So if you guys have used Blue Apron before, all the ingredients get shipped to your house, and they all come in these cute little packages, so it's all pre-measured out. Right now I'm going to crumble my goat cheese into a separate container and just have that ready to go onto the pizza. I'm gonna prepare all my ingredients right now. Now we're going to prepare the fennel. This is what it looks like. And we're gonna set aside about a tablespoon of the fennel fronds, which are these like fuzzy things. And it actually smells a lot like licorice to me for some reason. But we're gonna chop up about a tablespoon of that and set it aside. And then we're gonna work on the bulb and the stems. All right, so we're gonna slice, thinly slice the bulb and the stems. And then we're gonna put them into two separate bowls. So I'm gonna keep these separate. After we've completely peeled our butternut squash and he's naked, we're gonna cut the neck from the round bulb part and then we're gonna scoop the seeds out. Then we're gonna slice it into little discs. See, this is the bulb part with the seeds. We're gonna slice that down the middle and scoop the seeds out. And then we're gonna cut it into round little discs and then we're gonna boil the squash in our boiling water. It should be ready to go by now. Okay, the squash is only gonna take about two to four minutes to cook or until it's tender, but while it is boiling, I'm going to heat up a pan with some olive oil and then caramelize our sliced fennel bulb. Okay, now we're gonna work on the tricky part, which is the bachamel sauce, I think it's pronounced. My mom's actually born in France and I've heard her say it before because she's a cook, uh, but I think that's how you say it, bachamel. So we're heating up about a tablespoon of olive oil and once it's hot, we're gonna add our flour and you have to constantly whisk it in order for it to be the right consistency. So after we add our flour, we're gonna whisk it for about 30 seconds to a minute until it's golden brown. After your mixture of olive oil and flour is nice and golden brown, you can add a cup of milk. It comes in this little sippy packet. We're gonna add a cup of milk and a fourth cup of water, and we're gonna whisk it until all the lumps are gone. Now we're just gonna add a pinch of fennel pollen, season it with a little salt and pepper, and then we can take it off the heat once it's become thick enough and it kind of resembles a sauce. Okay, on a clean surface, we're just gonna start stretching out the dough, getting it ready for the pan. We're gonna make a like, rectangular shaped pizza. It'll fit perfectly in the pan. All right, so first we're gonna do our sauce. Bachamel sauce, all nice and creamy. We'll leave a little rim for the crust. Then we're gonna add our bright, beautiful orange squash. You can have fun with it and decorate it however you like. Then I'm gonna add a few slices of red onion that I sliced up earlier. It's a date night, you don't have to put as many onions. Then our caramelized fennel bulb. Then we're gonna put our goat cheese on top. Your little goat cheese crumbles that you made earlier. Then we're gonna sprinkle it with some Parmesan cheese. And then season it with a little salt and pepper. Then we're gonna put it in the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes. But you can just check on it occasionally and see if it's as crispy as you like it. Once the pizza's in the oven, we can work on a little mixture of some parsley, our leftover fr uh, fennel fronds that we saved from the beginning, and then our sliced fennel stems. We're gonna mix all that together with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, 
And we'll set that aside while the pizza cooks. And then finally, we're gonna mix together some of my favorite ingredients, some honey, and then if you like spice, red pepper flakes. I like a lot of red pepper flakes, so I'm gonna mix them all in. All right, the pizza looks and smells amazing. Once it's nice and brown, just take it out of the oven and we can add our mixture of fennel stems and honey. I'm just gonna drizzle both of those on top. Look how pretty and colorful that looks. All right, and the mixture of cold and hot ingredients I think is gonna be really good. And then lastly, our honey and red pepper flakes. All right, I am ready to try it. I was so hungry when I was cooking too, so this is gonna be really satisfying. It is so good. It's so good, it's like a really good twist on butternut squash and a good way to make a fall food into a pizza. I'll take any excuse to make a pizza. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Food with Daddy. I absolutely recommend trying this recipe out. And uh, if you are interested in Blue Apron, I'll put a link in the description box. You can check them out. They're really cool. They have vegetarian options, which I love. So let me know in the comment section what you thought of this pizza. And I will see you guys next time.